Does anybody really know what's going on at Disney? I mean, we've had what? 10 projects announced that have not come to fruition. I mean, sure. Since the Skywalker saga ended in 2019 with Rise of Skywalker, we've had stuff like The Mandalorian, Book of Boba Fett, Obi-Wan, Andor, Ahsoka, um, The Acolyte. Uh, we got Skeleton Crew coming out. Uh, we have, what, The Bad Batch? I think that's what it was. Uh, so we've had a lot of stuff come out, but, you know, the thing, the big projects that have been announced have not come to fruition. So was it last week or the week before when it was announced that Simon Kimberg had signed on to develop and write and produce a new Star Wars trilogy for Lucasfilm and Disney? And um, there's been some rumblings as far as what that new trilogy is going to entail. So here we have from the Hollywood Reporter. Star Wars movies race for Ray and the future of the franchise is on the big screen. The scavenger turned Jedi played by Daisy Ridley in the last three episode movies is key to the space opera's next turn. So before I dive into the article here, just want to say thank you to everyone that takes the time to watch my content, watch my videos. And um, if you're new here and you haven't yet, or if you're, re if you're returning and you haven't, there's a couple ways you can support the channel. One is to give me a thumbs up, give me a like. Um, also too, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. And uh, before you leave, please leave a comment in the comment section down below. These, these are the things that help support the channel. It's free to do, takes just a moment of your time and helps with the YouTube algorithm to promote my content out there on YouTube. Spread the word. So here we go. Forget the Death Star, the most coveted weapon in the Star Wars movie arsenal. Is character of Rey Skywalker. That's right. We don't need the Death Star. We got Rey. Since the November 7th reveal that Simon Kimberg had signed on to develop and write and produce a new Star Wars trilogy for Lucasfilm and Disney, otherwise known as Disney Star Wars, the beta is focused on whether or not it would be a continuation of the so-called nine-film Skywalker saga, tying it to the legacy of Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, and the storylines first laid out by George Lucas way back when in 1977. The reason for the debate is that the new Hope for Trilogy would feature Rey in some form or fashion. To me, the, the, the Rey movies were mid at best. I mean, they had chances to show Han, Luke, and Leia on the screen at the same time, and they didn't do it. Never mind the fact that, remember when uh, Disney bought Lucasfilm back in 2012? What was one of the first things they did? Oh yeah, the EU, gone. It's not canon. We're going to make up our own stories. How's that working out for you? Some fans have expressed criticism Lucasfilm will return to the well to make episodes, quote-unquote, as they are called, beyond the nine movies that comprise the Skywalker story, which had been billed as concluding with 2019 Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. That film grossed $1.077 billion globally, but also wasn't well received well by much of the fan base. It received a B-plus grade from the audience polled, by cinema score and a 51% critics tally at Rotten Tomatoes. But Rey, the scavenger turned Jedi, remember, she didn't really have any formal training. She just became a Jedi. Poof, you're a Jedi now. Played by Daisy Ridley in the last three episode movies is key to the future's next turn. That potentially puts Kimberg's trilogy story development as early in its conceptual stages as it may be on a collision course with the Ray standalone movie that was that is actively in the works with director Charmaine Obed Chinoy. Oh yeah, whatever happened to that movie? Remember that that people were saying it's going to be called uh New Jedi Order or something to that effect. 
Could that be lumped in with the number of projects that were announced that haven't come to fruition, that haven't seen the light of day? Or is it still going to happen and, and be in direct competition with this new Simon Kinberg trilogy? Hmm. That feature revealed with fanfare in April of 2023 at Star Wars Celebration in London is to star Daisy Ridley and could have already been in production were it not for some unanticipated headwinds with writers rotating around more than R2-D2's Chrome Dome. A new writer search is underway, so it's unclear when that one would go. Perhaps that is why Lucasfilm was receptive to Kimberg's multi-story pitch. Anything to move Ray forward, because it's all about Ray. But it does engender rumors in the Star Wars underground of filmmakers jostling for characters. Ridley, for her part, recently told The Hollywood Reporter, I feel like the new one, new ones, will be so interesting. Time has passed and a lot has changed for me personally, so it'll be interesting to come back to someone who I know so well. But in such a different moment. Um, while insiders dispute the notion that there is a battle for Rey, there definitely is internal deliberation within Lucasfilm as to what to do with her with the heir to Skywalker next. She's the most valuable cinematic asset, in some ways maybe the only one Star Wars has right now. One source close to the franchise tell THR, Pedro Pascal's Mandalorian and the Yoda-like Grogu are Disney Plus creations and will have their big screen power tested with a feature directed by Jon Favreau releasing in 2026. According to sources, Rey is set to play a role in several movies that are being developed, although which ones remain unclear. Now here's where we get to the nitty gritty, folks. Star Wars movie development has been under scrutiny for several years with Lucasfilm head Kathleen Kennedy taking fire for not developing meaningful characters beyond those first created by Lucas prior to the sale to Disney in 2012 for $4 billion. And if the franchise looks forward to in its canon timeline, all those beloved characters, Luke, Leia, Vader, Obi-Wan, Yoda, and Han, are dead or had their storylines wrapped in prequels or spinoffs. Ray created in the post Lucas era, that would be Disney Star Wars, is arguably the only entity with currency on the big screen now. The closest is a little bear, says another source. The closest is a little bear, or the closet is a little bear. I was going to say the closest is a little, oh, okay. What the Kinberg hiring lays bare is that development of movies at the company remains its own unique ecosystem in Hollywood. There are numerous Star Wars movies being developed that overlap characters or timelines. They are not related, but whatever one were to come out first could, in a domino effect, then impact the ones after it. James Mangold's Dawn of the Jedi movie that takes place is long before the Skywalkers may be one of the exceptions. Is that even going to come out? Um, some Lucasfilm directors are aware of what others are working on, while others are not. Taika Waititi is working on a Star Wars movie. Sean Levy has a feature project in the works, and Donald Glover's Lando idea has moved over development from the TV to the film side of Lucasfilm. A Rogue Squadron project is also still in development as a feature. I don't think Taika Waititi's project I don't think Sean Levy's project, I don't think Donald Glover's project, I don't think Rogue Squadron or any of those are going to see the light of day. They're just not. What this to me amounts to is Kathleen Kennedy is still looking for that quote-unquote win so she can go out and retire on a positive note rather than uh, just retire and let somebody else take it over and fix all the problems that she's created. It's a different way of development. Another insider familiar with the company's way of working. There's so much parallel work going on. Again, 10 projects have been announced. None have come to fruition. So where's this parallel work that's happening? 
It also points to the unique nature of Star Wars to fans and, in this case, filmmakers and producers. It is not a brand or a franchise, but something akin to a religion. Unlike Marvel or DC, with decades of stories propelling them forward, or even Harry Potter with seven fleshed-out books, Star Wars at its core has been the original George Lucas movies, and nothing has been codified or been made more conical in modern times than those three movies. The filmmakers and executives, the first trilogy is the Old Testament. You're being asked to create the New Testament, adds one source who worked on previous movies, and no one can agree on anything, and there's a lot of second-guessing about meanings. That's because, and George has said it himself, he's the only one that understands the Force. He's the only one that understands the vision. That's it. It begins and ends with George, in my humble opinion. Another source familiar with the process is more business-minded, noting Star Wars is a nostalgia-based enterprise and they are running out of ways to create nostalgia. Well, they, they, yeah, nostalgia, they could have put Han, Luke, and Leia on the screen at the same time in the same scene. Instead of doing what they did by having Han die at the hand of his son, and then, what was that? What was that? Leia, she flew through space back into the spaceship using the Force. And then, of course, what they did to Luke. Of course, the way uh, Mark Hamill has been acting lately. Um, good. <laughs> the television side doesn't appear to have these problems. As several insiders note that that arm has a lot more freedom to expand Lucas's universe, which is why there's been a varied slate that runs for better or worse in the eyes of fans. The gamut from Andor season two arrives next April to the acolyte not getting season two. Hallelujah. As well as a corner for Ahsoka creator Dave Filoni, the chief creative officer at Lucasfilm. Adds an insider to make standalone movies or continuing the Skywalker saga in any form is a fundamental question the company faces as it tries to move forward. See, that's the problem. They, they don't know how to create anything new. Just like this year in Hollywood has been uh, mostly, what, sequels? Spinoffs? There's hardly been an original big big budget blockbuster movie out there this year. And it's because they don't know how to create anything new. As in the case with Lucasfilm, they're having a hard time creating anything new. They tried to create something new, but they had to tie it back to the Skywalker family. And now there's division as far as how to proceed with that individual character who they think people are interested in, but people really aren't interested in. And I think it's been said by others before. Star Wars needs to, ha needs to be put on the shelf for 10 years. Then come out with something new. Come out with something with, that'll make a splash. It'll make a bang. It'll, 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 it'll rekindle that spirit that George Lucas had back in 1977. Well, there you go. That's my two cents. What do you guys think about this article about the, the Simon Kinberg um, potential trilogy involving Ray? Leave a comment. While you're at it, take the time to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video, share this video out there with your friends and family, and with that, I will see you guys.